Hey, how my cons? Yeah, we getting mappy, man. We getting mappy. Shout out Drop Nation, man. Y'all over there making moves, man. I mean, Naga moves. The frequency is on Coon. Naga's is starting to get it, man. Y'all Naga's, y'all Naga's really spreading this wave, man. <laughs> yeah, man. We're going to get, um, you know, real China y. You know, talk about some China. <laughs> China uh, by Florida, you know what I'm saying? Because here be much gold in Florida. Oh, here's Ptolemy's India. Yeah, that's uh, America. This is America, right? Because this is a map. This is a map of America in the way to China, as men believed it to be, when an old pilot showed it to King Henry the Seventh in the year 1500. So, if we got Florida right here, Barbados, right? And we pay close attention. Antarctica is popping off. Now, this Antarctica could be a part of South America, you know, that they're calling Antarctica at the time. But either way, there ain't no cap on Antarctica's chest bone. You see all types of mermaids. You see dragons, fire dragons uh, in Florida, man. <laughs> Land of unknown, Greenland, all that. And you see China, right? The great con just chilling. Great con of Cathay. Great con of China. So don't play with us when we know where, where Asia is. We're going to get... Uh, into some more conversation and before we get all moored up before we moor up the place i want us to see our <laughs> dragonfly perspective our orientation it has nothing to do with morocco here or morocco there or whatever you want to call it this is Cathay, man this is india's appear all right we we build enough foundation <laughs> on something real simple this is the superior india this ain't the home of Atlantis, even if Atlantis was here. It's still not the home of Atlantis. That's why Atlantis ain't here no more. Because you tried to hijack indigenous supreme Nagas in India Superior. You tried to hijack the land of the Presta, Atlantis. You tried to hijack the land of the Presta, pharaohs of Egypt. Oh, but they just moved with permission of the pharaoh. So they got to honor the pharaoh. Guess what, man? Them pharaohs... And got no jurisdiction in the land of Hawa, in the land of Kalelus, of the Creator. All this land is Creator's land, but this land is specifically the lot of the tribes of Israel. Joshua wasn't robbing you of your lands. Joshua was reestablishing these boundaries, this inheritance for the tribes of Israel. And if you admit that Joshua is real... <laughs> You got to admit the tribes of Israel, of Hasharah, are just as real, just as swarthy. All taking place right here in Cathay. All taking place right here in America. So we're going to have an American conversation from the Moorish perspective. Love to the homie J, uh, GJ. I'm going to call you GJ, man. The homie Ghost Johnson, man. Ghost Johnson, Bob and all. Drop some good drops. So. This just in across the drop desk. Let's get right into it. We see our orientation. <laughs> the Chinese sell this ocean, right? Come, come. We're talking ancient Cathay. The land of Prester John. Now, this map is a 1500 map, right? Okay. We're going to stay right there in the 1500s, come. Okay. <laughs> 1531, right? Orientis finds map. You see Cathay again. Asia. Florida. Very similar, right? Cathay. China or Asia. And Florida, boss, right? 1500. King Henry drop. Orientis finds drop. 1531. Where's Asia? Seems to be North America, boss. <laughs> I mean, does, does North America even exist or could it be Asia, right? Greater Asia like Grand Tartaria. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> 1530 or 1561 Carta Marina, Nivola, Tavola, right? Okay. You know. Grand Tartary, right? Asia, China, Mexico. <laughs> so South America is connecting directly to Asia, directly to Grand Tartary, right? 
directly to North America, they call it today, right? Or as we call it, India Superior, boss. Florida. <laughs> Cathay. Oh, okay. And this is 1548. I told you we'll stay right there in the 1500s. These 16th century maps are popping off, right? India Superior. Yeah, so when they want to label this Africa a maxim and all these things <laughs> so that they can feel they have dominion because the pharaohs that they're under need to feel they have dominion. And even if the Moabite tribes have inheritance in so-called North and South America or Northwest of Maxim, Southwest of Maxim, even if Lot was given a lot, that don't give you the entire thing, man. That don't make our land look like this, man. See, this is your problem. <laughs> this is it right here. Just look at it, man. This is your issue. Morocco, everything can't be ham and kush. Everything can't be ham and kush for a Mex and for Atlantis. And we're just talking to a Mexica. The Meshi is the Moshe. We're still talking Moses, even if we're talking Pharaohs. Did you forget we're talking Moses? You're going to mention Joshua, but you don't want to mention Moses. Because you know you can't diss Moshe. Not when you shim. How can Shem be anti-Moses? Unless you rocking that ham flow, right? Unless you rocking that uh, Canaanite flow. But we know we got our own Canaan or Canaan or Hanan. We talking Anion. We know we got our own Anion, Anon, Hannah, Lady Hannah, <laughs> King Hanan. We know we know we got our own Canaan. So we <laughs> we choose up, you know what I'm saying? We choose our Canaan. So when they say in Canaan, now you're saying which one? You're talking about Hanan, Canaan, son of Prestachan, Raja Hiraja, Chola, the Pandya, Emperor of Soliman, Soliman, <laughs> Sylvanus to Texas, we're talking Kalelus. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, we got a dragonfly perspective around here in Drop Nation that we've gained over seven years of digging on this drop, man. And it's published information. We ain't got to go too far, right? So. All right, this is a problem, Morocco. All right, you can't have all of South America ham, okay? You can't have all of North America ham. You did. This is an issue. This is an issue with us. <laughs> Where is Shem? We are talking a mess, Shem, right? A mess, Shem, right? Where's Shem? Yeah, Atlantis got a lot to do with Greenland, don't it? <laughs> Look where Atlantis is. And look where Greenland is. <laughs> and where's Greenland over here, boss? Ah, uh, where's Atlantis, boss? Yeah, boss. All right, so before they moor up the place, I just wanted to get our perspective on Asia is North America. All right, Asiatic, got it, got it, got it. This is Old World, India, Superior, Grand Tartary. This is China. This is Cathay. Huh? This is the map of America and the way to China or Kana, as man believed it to be. We're talking Grand Khan. Even after Genghis Khan stole the Khan, we're still talking Grand Khan over here. Khan, 1500s. Yeah, man. <laughs> you can go to the 1600s, 1620. We're still talking India. Superior, Tangu, Cathay, Mangi or Mangu, India, China, Mexico, Florida, right? Huh? You see what I see, right? You see what I see, right, boss? Okay. Okay, boss. Okay, boss. We ain't talking ham, man. We're not when we're talking Cathay and India Superior, man. Yeah, boss. <laughs> We can keep going. I mean, we can get mappy. So when I say, where's Asia? I'm talking North America, boss. <laughs> Let's go. No, Morocco. No, Morocco. Where's Asia? It's Asia ham now. Come on, man. You know what it is. Y'all know what it is.
this is what they want us to, you know, this is their perspective, right? That North America's Africa and South America's Africa and Africa is a maxim. And that's the oldest name of the lands is a maxim. Nah, see, that's, that's from your prophet's perspective, right? Because you want everything under your dominion, but you only move with permissions of the Pharaoh and the Pharaoh to us is a hijack. Atlantis is a hijack. You see the difference of perspective? You cling to Atlantis. You cling to these pharaohs of Egypt. That's why they keep getting destroyed. Where are they now? Where are they now? But you know this great earthquake occurred. You know this creator exists. You know that, but you do. You do as if you don't understand that this is a creator given land. Not to all black people, but to the tribes of Israel. This is the land of Shem, under Abraham, under Isaac, under Jacob. And you got an issue with Joshua, the Benjamite? <laughs> or shall I, <laughs> Ephraim? I mean, you got an issue with Joshua, man? Hey. You got an issue with the tribe. So on one end, you can't be, oh, this is all one thing. And they're, these white people who are trying to reclassify us black people. On the other end, you're trying to, you recognize that these people are so-called black people, right? But then you want to say they're all Moabite and Canaanites. But you recognize Joshua exists, but you act like the seed of Joshua don't exist. All right, man, let's, let's get a little Maury around here. It's about to get real Maury, man, which is real great because Maury means great. So let's get Maury. I mean, you know, his name is Hosea, right? So when you got the book of Hosea, we're still talking Joshua. <laughs> Come on. Hosea, that's talking about uh, that the children of Israel will return return to the creator, return to their land. But you might think like we ain't got no land. The son of Nun, the tribe of Ephraim, Khan. But Moshe called him Yehoshua, right? And today, that's what they call Yeshua, right? JC. But we're talking this Yehoshua. <laughs> the Joshua, they call Joshua the robber. Yeah, they call this Joshua the robber. They're saying he's, him reclaiming the lands for the creator is, robbing them of their dominion under the house of the pharaoh as if america is all about the pharaoh and under the pharaoh's dominion forever america is perpetual slaves to pharaoh to atlantis is you fucking kidding me more y'all gotta stop this stuff more you gotta stop this stuff you can't be great you can't call yourself more and you keep going with this stuff man this is ridiculous man <laughs> it's ridiculous you want all the lots all the dominions under Pharaoh, under Atlantis. Atlantis is artificial. Artificial land built under Poseidon, under Zeus and them, under E. Zeus, right? Under Ham. Ham is Zeus, right? <laughs> Y'all got to stop this stuff. You got to choose your Yehoshua, man. You got to choose your Joshua. Yeah, okay. All right. Hey, fair use in your caboose ball. Now that we got our dragonfly perspective, uh, this from a Moorish perspective, I, uh, Section 107 Copyright Act provides the statutory framework for determining whether something is a fair use, identifies certain types of uses such as criticism, comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and recon. Let's do some research. That's all we're doing. All right, so fair use. Uh, love to Ghost Johnson, GJ. Ancient others, uh, yeah. Ain't easy. Let's talk about it, man. Top nine secrets revealed by the Morris Broadcast Archives. All right, all right, let's go. Uh, a hop to a maxim. This channel is called a maxim. Go dig on it. And again, this ain't no, uh, you know, it's all respect. You know what I'm saying? It's just you can't keep asking us out and we ain't going to say nothing. You know, we, we as indigenous people of India superior don't have to be Moroccan. We don't have to be Moabite, Canaanite, Ammonite, Jebby. We could be the tribes of Joshua. We could be the tribes of Ephraim. We could be the tribes of Moshe. We could be the tribes of Benjamin. 
We could be the tribe of Judah. We could be the tribe of Levi. This ain't don't this don't gotta be mythological, yet you still say you come from Abraham. Is Abraham a myth? So how are we a myth? How do you just take all dominion from us and say Pharaoh's good? They're gonna make this point. Pharaoh's good. See, he gave us land. He gave you land. <laughs> You're a different tribe than the tribe of Israel. Don't y'all get this? Y'all can't keep going with this forked tongue trickery, man. The spell is over. You still hiding under the Moorish shield. You don't want this government to cease. <laughs> you want to use it still. You want to use this dominion. You still want to put the children of Israel in captivity. That's why you don't want to give them back their identity. You want to claim to be Hebrews, but you want to act like Joshua the robber is some type of fake lineage. <laughs> Joshua the robber it must be a robber. Nah, man, this is the Joshua that stopped the sun in his tracks while he annihilated the hijack. Stopped the moon from, from moving. Stopped the waterfalls from flowing. Parted the Jordan River so the tribe can cross on dry land. And you want to front on this Joshua? Gets a quad or the rainbow dragon? The bow in the sky? We're talking kids quad. Let's pop off, man. Of presenting to you another segment of the teachings of our prophet and leader, the great prophet Noah Drali. I am your host, Brother E. Braswell Bay, and we have with us this evening our distinguished guest and brother, the brother P. David Steele. And uh, this we're going to have a conversation on one of the many chapters that the Prophet Nobu Drali uh, put together in the Holy Quran of the Mori Science Temple of America. One chapter in particular is uh, Egypt, the capital dominion, the capital empire of the dominion of Africa. So when they talk Africa, just cold word, I'm saying they're speaking in forked tongue. Sometimes they're referring as Africa, as you know it over there. Other times they are talking about the land right here. Because yes, there's an untold and sort of a hush-hush history about the Moors. That's like a big secret. Truth is, the Moors were the original or the aboriginal uh indigenous inhabitants of north south so they gotta have everything right this is their trickery to have all dominion under this moorish moorish flag are you black ish <laughs> nah man you ain't black at all right <laughs> are you copper ish or are you copper are you smart ish or are you smart are you strong ish or are you strong are you more ish are you great ish or are you great you better make your mind up we're talking to the Muans over here, man. <laughs> Not the issues, man. So when they talk Africa out their mouths, just remember to them, you're in Africa. To us, we know <laughs> we're in India Superior. In Spanish, in Dios means in in God, in the Creator, in Hawa. You know what I'm saying? These are the people of Hawa, promised land. They're fighting over the promised land. And they got to keep us asleep to fight over this promised land so that they can have dominion. Notice he slipped out and said dominion first when he mentioned Egypt. And then he started talking about Africa. And we know that Africa is America to them. It's just Northwest Africa. They say you're from Northwest Africa, like Nigeria and all that, right? But this is Northwest Africa, Manaka, because Africa is all these lands because everything is a maxa for Hamakush. Hammock. Oh, you better stop the play play. You better cut it out, man. <laughs> Does North America even exist? Now we're talking Cathay, huh? We're talking Cathay. Yeah, boss, we're talking Cathay. Kapongo is Japan. So Japan's over here. China's over here. India's over here. So what's over there? Well, if this is India in or superior, there must be an Indian. Inferior, you know what I'm saying? If there's a superior, there must be an inferior. If this is India superior, there must be a other others more inferior Indians. And the people found in superior India must be the tribes of the Creator. And we don't have to call ourselves superior. We know Deuteronomy 28, we the head and not the tail if we keep the code. 
If we don't keep the code, you can run us out. You can call us black. You can say we more ish, right? We 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 went from being great to great ish because we out of code. You don't get no greater than the code because the code puts you in the image, the frequency of Hawa. Remember, you're created in the image, but you can choose up and choose down. You could be created as a great, but you made choices that were not great, right? So now we're making great choices by keeping the code. A Lego. I'm going to back it up so you can hear that slip when he talks dominion when he brings up this uh, pharaoh. Right. Let's go. This evening we're going to have a conversation on one of the many chapters that the prophet Noble Durali uh. Uh, put together in the Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America. One chapter in particular is uh, Egypt, the capital dominion, the capital empire Uh of the dominion of Africa. Uh Uh, You know, Brother P. Davis Hill, the Prophet Nobu Durali, when he put this chapter together, he put so much wisdom in this chapter that um, uh, being a member of this organization, I I find out something new every day, you know. I understand from my readings and study, and you can correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, that the Prophet Noble Durali was divinely guided by Allah alone himself. And the chapters that he put in effect uh, in, in this Quran, like this chapter in particular, has divine wisdom in it. And it stretches back uh, uh, with the history of our people over 10,000 years, or you might say over 50,000 years. And that is a long time. Uh, the Prophet Nova Durali, uh enough cannot be said about this great man and uh, his works, particularly bringing us uh, a knowledge of ourselves. You know, and, and today, Egypt seems to be a very uh, exciting topic amongst our people. Uh, what do you think about that, brother? Well, first of all, let me say that uh, it's always a pleasure to get together with uh Moorish American to discuss the Prophet Noble Drew Ali and Moorish science is always a revelation. Uh, yes, the coming of the Prophet Noble Drew Ali to us here in North America uh, marked a milestone in the journey of, of this race. I agree. I agree. Of this nation. Uh, it marked a. Now, this nation is not Israel. I just need to be clear. We're talking tribal. They're talking Moab, Canaan. Cana, you know, they're they're Canaan, <laughs> Ammonites, Hittites. They're not talking Israel. Okay, so called Israel. Hashirah, Yashirah, all right. So Israel never had a prophet outside of Israel. Israel got Moses. You did? Israel got Joshua. You did? Israel got one shepherd forever, King David. This is their enlightenment. They got put on before Israel, because Israel was still under the punishment of Deuteronomy 28 being out of code. They started getting their, you know, stuff together in terms of their unity. And then anybody who wasn't awake, they would slide them up under there as more ish and build their numbers up. But probably they knew who the bloodlines were. And those people that are still in those, uh, you know, groups, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised if they got <laughs> if they got hated on, you know what I'm saying, on on the slender, you know, on the under, if their superiors know who they are. You know, if, if they're Israel, will they ever, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> get promoted to whatever, you know, their top rankings are, if they know that these people are Israel, or will they only promote the Moabites? Will they only promote their own bloodline? This is their internal stuff, I don't know. But come on, when they talk nation, they talking prophet, they're not talking us. You're seeing another nation of people that look like you popping off with their wise prophets and wisdom. And now we're going to call Cappadocia on something that they claim to be standing on as foundation. That you don't exist. That this is all under the dominion of the Pharaoh. It's a, a milestone in that in the history of our people here in North America, prior to the coming of the Prophet Noble Drew Ali, they had not been in contact with divine guidance, mm-hmm. with one who was divinely prepared. Oh. And 
a long time. So they ain't been in contact with nothing divine <laughs> for a long time. They're not talking you. They're talking them. Let's go. And, and they, they had lost, lost the knowledge, knowledge of, of their, their divine, divine origin. origin. Mm -hmm. they, they had lost the knowledge of their, of their divine, divine rights, mm -hmm. uh, uh, of their, their identity, identity. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, their, their birthright, birth rights, even, mm -hmm. even their, their citizenship, citizenship rights. rights. Mm -hmm. And, and so, so the coming, coming of the prophet, Noble Drew Ali, Ali to us here in North America, America uh, made, made it possible for us to reconnect with our divine origin, mm -hmm. uh, with our, our divine, divine rights, our natural rights, rights our, our citizenship, citizenship rights. rights. Our birth citizenship, come on. I mean, we talking about this current government. And even though if they want to go back and blast into the past, they're not talking about Hawaii's divine situation. They're talking about their connection to Atlantis, their connection to the pharaohs of Egypt, their backing of this, um, you know, 1776 Declaration of Independence, their backing of this, you know, current, uh, you know, what I'm saying this, this whole system, this whole setup. You know, what I mean, they found their place. He reminded them of their place in it so that they can start to you know come up so that they can start to you know um you know change their statuses and get certain hookups get certain perks understand that they really are who popped it off but this ain't got nothing to do with the biblical code with biblical inheritance with heritage and true divinity they saying when they say divine they ain't talking creator they're just saying that they are over the hijack they want to remind even though they're the hijack, you know what I'm saying? You know, they want to remind these new hijacks who the first hijack was. You know, if that makes, you know what I mean? <laughs> Even though the Pharaoh Atlantis, all this conf conf Confederacy, Psalms 83, all these treaties of pieces and fret, friendships and, you know, treaties on Tecumseh, treaties on the Chickamauga, treaties on the indigenous American Hebrews, treaties and blood that's on their hands because they didn't side with their brothers against the invaders. They made treaties of peace and friendship with the invader. But they want to remind this invader that they're the first invader. That Pharaoh, that Egypt was the first invader. So we have dominion over the new invaders. I'm saying we breaking it all the way down. My night. Birth rights. And the chapter that you mentioned, the chapter in the Holy Koran entitled Egypt, the capital empire of the dominion of Africa, is one of those uh, great truths that the prophet Noble Drew Ali uh, came here to teach in order to set the record straight. Oh, yeah. Because there had been so much inf misinformation mm -hmm. about Africa, about the people who are of African descent. <laughs> and particularly about our people here in North America. Mm -hmm. That's, That's interesting, interesting too, brother, really, because if you notice the first, I think it's the first verse in that chapter, it talks about the first inhabitants of Africa. It talks about um, the fact that old man Cush was one of the first inhabitants of Africa. Now, from our studies, we understand that, that Cush is synonymous with Egyptians. Is that true, brother? I mean, have you heard something like that before? Yes, but even before that, in the very first, uh, the very first verse of that chapter, the prophet Noble Drew Ali sets the record straight by saying that the inhabitants of Africa are the descendants of the ancient Canaanites from the land of Canaan. And anyone who has read any of the the old records, the old scriptures, particularly the Bible. Okay. In the Bible, it's, it's stated that the people of Canaan, that Canaan being the son of Ham, who was supposed to have been cursed, you see, uh, the prophet Noble Drew Ali uh, makes it clear that there was no curse on Canaan. Mm. And it's very important that our people understand that. That they, that they uh, were not cursed. You think Canaan wants to admit that they were cursed? Canaan, if you weren't cursed, then where's your, where are your things? Where's your stuff? Where's your empire? 
I'm not talking about on paper. <clears throat> I'm talking about where, where's your goal? <laughs> oh, behind the scenes, maybe you got it behind the scenes. You know, maybe that's what they talk about with the boule flow. I don't know, man, but <sighs> where's your <laughs> where's your paradise, man? Man, when they talk Africa, are they referring to Kush over there? Since they're saying ham is over here. <laughs> Come on, Morocco. We try to figure this out. So this Kush being synonymous with uh, Egypt, they say. And then you got Canaan over here in the Middle East, man. Saudi Arabia. Man. All right. We're trying to see the Moorish perspective, man. We got our own dragon flitter. And this ain't it. Ham and Kush, ham and Kush. Let's go. By, by Allah, whom some people refer to as God, it's e e extremely important that our people understand that. Another thing that is important that they understand is that Africa, the name Africa itself, is a name that was given to the continent by someone else who was not African. Mm -hmm. uh, the original name of the land is Amexam. Uh, how do you spell that, brother? A M. EX. Right. Got a technical I background. Looking right to go time, remote and get right on time. Become a software engineer. It's, right. it's all yeah. good, nah, man. You know, it's all respect, man. It's like they're kicking, you know, what they've, you know, grown to consider their divine science, their divine philosophy, their, their divine truth. They're quoting the Bible. Selectively, right? But you can't quote the Bible and then say the children of Israel, who the entire Bible is about from beginning to end, even if you include revelations, you still got the 12 gates being opened at the end for the 12 tribes to go into, and the 144,000 coming out the 12 tribes. The 12 tribes still are in play, even in the New Testament ending. <laughs> in the Tanakh, you know what I'm saying? We already know. That's the moral to the story. That's Ezekiel. I mean, that's the moral to the story. It's the two cross sticks, Ezekiel 37, coming together. So you can't quote the Bible and ignore the two cross sticks. And that's the northern and southern tribes of Israel that have been scattered and sold and uh, betrayed by our own brethren, cousins, whatever you want to call it, tribes that are also considered black that stopped considering themselves black a long time ago while we kept considering ourselves black and the ones that got recruited into these science temples now consider themselves more ish. Not Ephraim, not Manasseh, not Neptali, not Judah, but more ish. You know what I'm saying? That's another version of black. It's like another black hole great ish they don't say you're moabite because that'll be too much of a shock in your face when you know they're talking tribal then you're going to say how can i prove i'm a moabite how can you prove you a moabite how can you prove you're of this ancient tribal bloodline that's too much confusion they're just going to say you're under the confederacy the dominion the flag the same flag that helped this government invade and take over our indigenous lands and then you want to claim to be indigenous too after helping them conquer us that means you help them conquer yourself man come on make it make sense man capital uh -huh. that is the first true and divine name of africa uh given to that entire region that entire uh conglomerate of land mm -hmm. which would include now the present North, South, and Central America. <laughs> and you know, that's, that's kind of contrary to what some historians have led us to believe. I mean, why would it include now? Just get that last part back. Which will include now North and South America? Why do we get included now? Like, what happened? <laughs> now we're under the dominion of the Pharaoh? Which, which would, would include, include now? now? The present, the present North, North, South, and Central, Central America. America. Come on, man. And you, and you know, know, that's, that's kind of contrary, contrary to what. what some, some historians, historians have led, led us to believe. believe. Some, some historians, historians in the past have led our people and part of the world to believe 
that Egypt was only that little piece of land that you see right there on the map today. But according to the teachings of our prophet Novodrali, Egypt would encompass this land called North America. So in essence, what you're saying, and I agree. Look at this guy. Just look at him, man. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I could see you in Pharaoh's house. I could see you with the Pharaoh garment thing on and walking around your sand. I could see that, man. I could see you, man. <laughs> I could see you, boss. Hating on the Israelites, man. <laughs> I could see you hating on Israel, man. In Egypt, because you banging for Egypt so, so tough. So North and South America got to be in the conglomerate encompassed by Egypt. See how they just try to throw our lands in when we look, look, man, this is how crazy this is. You're just going to throw Asia in there and say, yeah, you know, Asia will be a part of Egypt. What? This is Asia. <laughs> what? This is India Superior. This is Cathay. What do you mean? You can't just throw in the promised land like it's a side bet, like a side chick, man. <laughs> they trying to side check us, man. Terra Fuego goes too. Huh? Antarctica's a part of Egypt too. Yeah, they, there's pyramids in Antarctica. Man, Atlantis was stretching themselves out all over the place. And not all pyramids are Atlantean or Egyptian pyramids, right? Come. We're just talking science, man. We're talking vibration. Frequency. This is India Superior. I said. I said, this is India Superior. You can't just toss in India Superior as some type of side chick and say, yeah, um, I, I think this India Superior was in, encompassed in the dominion of Egypt. Would you cut it out, man? This is India, big boss, big dragon pants, India Superior. Big dragon, India Superior. <laughs> we ain't nothing on the side. We the entire pot. This is where it's happening at. This is where the ley lines are coming together, man. This is ancient. Man, you're not even talking about the lands in the Pacific. Why are you just focusing on Atlantis? Why are you just focusing on the Atlantic? You're not even talking about the Pacific lands, right? Nah, because you were at war against them. You were at war against us. You ain't talking Israel, but you want to bring up Joshua. We talking India. Superior, boss. Look at this guy. I can't believe you said that. You're just going to throw in big dragon pants in the superior as a part of, as a dominion, a part of the dominion of Egypt, like some perpetual slavery, papal bull. Now they want to repudiate the bull like they some vegans, right? <laughs> Let's get it. I believe that, that Egypt was, was only that, that little piece, piece of land that, that you see right, right there, there on the map, the map today. today. But, but according, according to, to the teachings, teachings of our prophet, prophet Noble Drawing, Egypt, Egypt would, would encompass this land called North, North America. America. So, so in essence, essence what you're saying, and I agree, that, that this is, in fact, Upper Egypt. Egypt. Oh, cut the shit. This, this is, is a, a part. part. Cut the shit. <laughs> we know that Egypt popped off here. We know that. But this don't make all this land Egypt. We know that there's Egyptian connection with the Grand Canyon. That don't mean the Grand Canyon didn't exist before the hijack of Atlantis. Stop the cavalry. Part of, of the dominion, dominion of Africa, Africa. Uh, before, before the, the great, great earthquake, earthquake uh, which, which caused, caused the great, great Atlantic. Atlantic. I'm going to get it back. I'm popping off. I'm going to get through this. We're going to get through this together. <laughs> Woo. Moors on Mars, man. <laughs> Never in the history of Cappadocia, natural by law, take the wheel, man. More is on more. Hey, look, man, this ain't changed, all right? Go, go back and get <laughs> the series we did, The Sinking of Atlantis, man. Just seven-part series, man. Just I know it's hard to scroll back. Sometimes people come to the channel. They don't make it easy for you to scroll like they used to. You can get the oldest videos, go back to 2016. If they stop you at 2018, just keep going, man. Just, just, just type in con drop or you know might be king drop 2016 you know what i'm saying you get them drops man because they trying to squeeze it out you know they don't make it easy you got to search for it now. <laughs> you got to search for it man but we've been at this a long time just go get the sink in egypt 
and you're gonna put all this together, man. We just are popping off. Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. And further evidence of that can be a little go, piece of land back. that you see right there on the map today. But according to the teachings of our prophet Noble Drali, Egypt would encompass this land called North America. So in essence, what you're saying, and I agree, that this is in fact Upper Egypt. This is a part of the dominion of Africa wow. before the great earthquake which caused the great Atlantic Ocean. And who caused the earthquake? Our way. The earthquake was caused by what they say, oh, they were using the power of the sun and these advanced weapons. Really, this is something that Hawaii allowed, you know, them to reach this point to destroy themselves. Then you also got to factor in the vibe. <laughs> but either way, this is a Hawa. This is the creator doing this. Atlantis was destroyed. Then they came with the Nasuts of Egypt. And they came with a slave vibration. Thoth says it himself in the Emerald Tablets. I put the slave vibration on them when I went to this ancient Kemet. They cowered at my display of magic signs. They were under a spell, a slave vibration. That's how you got them to rock with you in your dominion. You put the same damn slave vibration 440 hertz on us today. Because this is Atlantis, right? This is Egypt, right? On the back of the dollar, right? Yeah, that great earthquake y'all keep bringing up was caused by the creator. Why, is that, why, does, why does the creator keep bringing down Atlantis, bringing down Egypt? And why you want to still bang for Egypt in this frequency, this dominions, that means we are under perpetual servitude. That's what you're saying if we're under the dominion of Egypt <laughs> in America, which is India Superior or Greater Asia. That's ridiculous. <sighs> or else Egypt would still be here. Unless they just uh, transformed into the United States. <laughs> okay. And now we got the Moore Shield. Now we got the Treaties of Peace and Friendship with the United States. Got it, boss. And further evidence of that can be seen in the people of America. Mm. When the Europeans arrived here in America, okay. they encountered people who looked like you and I. Mm -hmm. And what were they called, do you remember? They referred to all of these people as being Indians. Okay. You mean they were from India Superior? Because you're talking Europeans getting here. This is a 1548 map, and it says India Superior. <laughs> My noggin, I can't make this up. Fifteen sixty one, we still talking about Grand Tartary Asia. Sixteen twenty, we still talking India Superior. When the Europeans arrived here in America, they encountered people who looked like you and I. Shout out to all the kind surfing away on IG. You know what I'm saying? Told y'all, man. Hey, we gonna take our time. <laughs> we popping off. <laughs> hey, all, hey, all, all the cons, man. Hey, I'm just rocking over here, man. I appreciate y'all, man. And just, uh, you know, spreading the vibes, man. Because we got something for everybody. <laughs> yeah, he said. He said when the Europeans came over here, they encountered people that looked just like us. You don't think he knows about black ass King Charles? Are we to assume that these high scholar, high science, more ish science brothers, that their great noble didn't teach them that these Europeans are also black? So why would it come out of his mouth that when the Europeans got here, they found people that look just like us? 
He knows what he's saying. <laughs> but if you found people that look just like them, are you saying they're from the same tribe? He knows the Europeans are black, swarthy, King uh, Charles the Quinto, all these black royals in Europe. He knows this. But why does he forked tonguingly throw it out there as if you're going to think white European comes and sees black people in America. We know black people came to see black people in America. He doesn't want to draw attention to the more and more war. He doesn't want to draw attention to the personal family hijacking because this wakes you up that this is a personal family beef, a biblical beef. He brought up the Bible, not me. He brought up the Bible. He's bringing up biblical situations and tribes and promises and inheritance. He's bringing it up. We see the real picture painted on the walls in Peru. This is a painting from the panel in Peru, in Lima, Peru. This is black ass King Charles, hijacking an indigenous copper color car. Atahua, Hawa, Hawapa, Inca, right? Yeah. It might be a Nebuchadnezzar Charles V connection, my bro Zion Marley. I see you popping off. We out of here, baby. <laughs> we out of here. We know what the European looks like. But look how he says it with a straight face. We got to figure this out for ourselves. When the Europeans arrived here in America, they encountered people who looked like you and I. Who the Europeans? And what were they called, do you remember? They refer to all of these people as being Indians. Okay. And we're not speaking of the Mexican Indians, the ones with the long hair, the ones that we see frequently uh, in the media quite a bit. We're speaking of the so-called Indians that look like you and I. Right. Okay. In fact, they grouped all of the, the original people of America into one category and called... No, they did not, because black-ass King Charles knew exactly who the tribes were. They came to conquer the promised land. They didn't group all black people and call them Indians. No, the Moabites were still called Moabite. The Canaanites were still Canaanites. Charles know who he is. He knows he's in the land of the great Khan. But they came over here and they found the Israelites. And they said they are Indios. They are Indians. They are of India. Superior, right? That's why they're called Indians. <laughs> and they call Preston John the king of the Indians. The Khan of the Indios. King David. They found King David in it. Queen Khalifa in it. We said the record straight. Call them Indians, our people being among those who, who were labeled as Indians. You know, I read something um, in my studies about the particular tribe called the Nanticoke, the Choctaw, the Cherokee. All of these people uh, had the deep olive hue like we had. And they practiced the same customs that our people practiced before the great earthquake on the uh, uh, west coast. Before the great earthquake, before the sinking of Atlantis, they say. Everyone had olive, deep, dark hue. It's like they're dancing around this obvious fact. And their whole time is just to prove that dark skinned, copper colored people are f originally here. You know, although they want to put them under the, under the dominion of the Pharaoh. They're just perplexed. And it's like, yeah, I'm reading all these books, and it seems like they were already. Dark skinned people here. <laughs> Just like Ivan Van uh, Sertima, something like that. Before they, uh, they came before Columbus, go, go get that. That's in the Drop Library at 432thedrop.com. They're sitting, they're so perplexed <laughs> by this obvious fact. It seems like they were already dark skinned people here. And they just labeled us and they want to feel like they was disenfranchised. They don't want to take accountability for their parts in the treaties. They want to feel like they're disenfranchised. They were grouped with everybody else. When we know not everyone went into chattel slavery. 
Not everybody was sold here and there and there and here. Not everybody was expelled out of Spain in 1452 or 1492. Not everybody was, um, you know, massacred under this fake-ass dominion, under this uh, manifest destiny, under this papal bull, Doom Diversus, 1452. Not everybody was targeted by the Confederates. By the Confederacy, by the Confederation, Psalms 83, he keeps bringing up Moabites. He brought up the Bible, right? So let's go to the Bible. <laughs> let's go to the Tanakh, man. Let's go to Psalms 83. He brought up the Bible. Yeah, keep not, keep not your silence, Hawa, hold not your peace, be not still, Hawa, for lo, your enemies are in an uproar, they want dominion under the Pharaoh, and they that hate you have lifted up the head, they want to be <laughs> the ones with dominion, right, they hold crafty converse against your people, now this is the big question, who's thy people? They want to talk about the great creator. They call him what they call him. But who's thy people? They take counsel against thy treasure ones. My naga. Who's thy treasure ones? Who's the creator's treasure ones? Is it them? Or do we have envy and covetous to get your land, your inheritance? Because they're not the treasure ones. They look like you, kind of. But they don't got your frequency. And this is not for us to act like, well, we are better and we're going to separate from all black people. Nah, man, we're saying black people don't exist. We're tribes. And the creator got a people, thy people, thy treasure ones. Fact, you the head and not the tail. That's the creator's order. That's not racism and us being trying to boast ourselves. We the head and not the tail. We're talking the treasure ones. They brought up the Bible, not me. <laughs> they have come and said, let us cut them off from being a nation. Now you're more ish. They won't tell you who you are. They won't tell you where you're from. They just going to say you follow, you fall under the dominion of Africa, Egypt, Pharaohs, and you're more ish. That's all they're going to tell you. <laughs> this is your nation. Get your citizenship right. Get your status correct. Do everything in the system because we still got to protect the system because we still have a treaty with the system because we're still really running the system they have said come and let us cut them off from being a nation who's them <laughs> you Manage, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance sound like that Virginia House of Delegates Henry Berry flow right that you know if we can only extinguish their capacity to see the light, then we would be safe and they would be on the level of the beasts of the field. Then we would be safe. If only we can extinguish the light from the slave's mind, if only we can make the name of Israel no more in remembrance, no more, no more memsaws, for they have consulted together with one consent. They're united against us. Against thee do they make a covenant. Who, boss? The tents of Edom, Ishmaelites, Moab. Let's hold it right there. Moab is involved in the council against Hawaz treasure ones when they claim Moab and their prophet for their dominion, <laughs> for the dominion of their pharaoh, in their Atlantis, they're trying to keep hope alive. When the great earthquake is clear that you don't belong here. All your splicing and dicing and high more sciences are not welcome here. We have Hawaii. We have Hawaii's frequency. We have Hawaii's order. And we are under a greater magic. And you do lesser magic. 
we're the magi. We're <laughs> we're India superior, boss, right? So who is Moab? Coast of Africa. Speaking of the West Coast of Africa, you brought out an interesting point in one conversation we had when you gave the miles, the, the, the distance that is from the West Coast of Africa to the East Coast of America. Do you remember that piece of information you shared with me? Yes, I recall reading in a book mm -hmm. that it is closer from the easternmost part of America to the westernmost part of Africa, the easternmost part of um, America being San Recife, Brazil, mm -hmm. to Sierra Leone, it is closer than it is from here to California. A distance of only now separates America from Africa. Is that at right? At this present day. That's true. Is that right? <laughs> you know what else is crazy? It's pretty close from here to Asia, too. <laughs> I'm just, you know, thinking out loud. Uh, you know, mythical straits of Ania, right? It's pretty close to Ania. A hop to uh, JSTOR.org. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you got Asia, and then you got the land of the pressed. And again, we're in the 1500s, 1530. Call me I know a hop to my Naga surfing the wave and press to 120. <laughs> Look out for us, man. You know, uh we just popping off, man. Just brand new journeys, man. You know what I'm saying? Brand new brand new uh revelations. <laughs> yeah, we, we know we're in the land of Preston John, right? So he said how close Africa is with America, how close is Asia, right? And we know that this is Asia, right? This is India Superior. Again, again, we got India Superior on the map. And this map is in the British Museum, right? Outline copy of the MS map in the British Museum showing connection between Marco Polo's Asia and the New Lands circa 1530. So we're literally connected with Asia over there. And we got our maps like the Orientis Finds map that says this is Asia here. Right, that well, this is Asia. It's, it's literally connected. This is the superior uh, Asia. This is India superior. This is where it's all happening. This is that that Yucatan Joktan flow. And he's gonna admit that the first man was literally created here. <laughs> so this is why they fighting for here. They don't want their lot. They want here, right? They want your lot. They want the lot of Prester John. Why is Prester John on the map? In the British Museum in 1530. Oh, wait. They're conquering the land of King David. They're conquering the land of Israel. And they're making confederacies to do it. Confederacies. Confederacies. So that the land is all theirs, right? So that. Yeah. So that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. They want to cut you off. Cut you off from being a nation. Who thy treasure ones? Who's thy people? <laughs> God, let's get it. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. 
They hold crafty commerce. So when they're having this conversation, it's very crafty, man. You gotta you gotta really keep up with it. You know, we gotta really keep up with this conversation. Cause it's very tricky. They're talking Africa. We're talking Africa. But they want to put America under the dominion of Egypt, Africa, Pharaoh. So this is why they want to put it on us here. This is why they want to put Kush and Ham everywhere for Morocco. Nah, boss, we got a problem with this perspective. <laughs> As Shemites, we have a problem, and, and you should too if you had your own dominion, but you're under the dominion of Pharaoh. Got it, got it. Okay, so you even have your own dominion, right? That means the creator didn't give you your own dominion. You're under, you gotta move with permission of another man. Dominion of e in Egypt, we move under permission of the creator. That, that's a different connection. But I get it. I get it. Not everybody was known. Not everybody was known of a while. That's why they want to cut you off from being a nation. So the name of Israel be no more remembered. What did it say again in Amos? Yeah, you only, you only have I known. Of all the families on the earth, you only have I known. They brought up the Bible. <laughs> I'm just bringing out the Tanakh, you know what I mean? Here, Hawah has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up out the land of Egypt. So we got brought up out that dominion. They want to keep us in that dominion. They want to put us in perpetual slavery like the Papal Bulldog. The Papal Bulldog. But we're part of the family that was brought up out of this dominion, not just a place. Bondage. Egypt means bondage. The pharaohs of Egypt are pharaohs of bondage. But they like their high station. They're the house niggas, right? And we the field niggas <laughs> in slavery. They the house niggas. They, they like their station in the dominion of Pharaoh today. We're the field niggas. We ready to rebel, right? Because we only follow Hawa, not Pharaoh. Hawa's dominion, not Pharaoh. Verse 2, Amos 3. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Who are we talking about? Hear this word that Hawa has spoken against you. <laughs> Children of Israel, this is Hawa saying, look, man, you my babies. You my babies, you my children. Not only are you my children, but you're my only children. You only have I known of all these families. So when these Moabites are tripping, these Canaanites are tripping, these Egyptians, whatever, they're tripping because I don't know them. Moses said, let my people go. They said, I don't know your God. And Pharaoh said, I don't know your God. Yeah, you don't know Hawa. You weren't given the code of Hawa. The Mayat is not the same. I'm not talking about stuff. We ain't talking about stuff you repeat. <laughs> you repeat why, you know, before you die. We ain't saying, oh, okay, you lived. You know, buy some pretty good customs. Genghis Khan has some good customs, too. We're saying, what's the original code? Did Hawa give you the code, or did you just hijack it from the cookies? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Before we were called Israel, we have a code. We're not some new nation. Abraham got the code. <laughs> he wasn't considered Israel. The code goes back. Melchizedek's already popping off with the code. What nation would you seize from? So it's not some new nation in Israel. This is ancient code. This is ancient love song frequency. And who was given this frequency but these particular families of Israel, children of Israel, 
You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I'm going to whoop your ass if you ain't listening, because I gave you the code. Therefore, I will visit upon all your iniquities. Will two walk together except they agree? How are we going to go the same direction if we don't agree? But just know that you only, only have I known <laughs> of all the families of the earth. This is why they mad. This is why they mad. Lego. So that can kind of fortify even more so of what, what this prophet, prophet Noble Raleigh is teaching us in terms, in terms of, of what Egypt is, where it, uh, where uh, the people uh, originally came from, and how we are still connected to that history to this very day. Absolutely, we are we are very much connected with that history. Uh, you mentioned the people who were called the Nanty Cokes and the Choctaws and other people, mm -hmm. particularly in the southern part of the United States. Well, I can speak from personal experience with regard to the people who are called Choctaws because uh, growing up as a child, we were very close to a, a Choctaw reservation. Mm -hmm. And I would see the people uh, occasionally and they were pretty much indistinguishable mm -hmm. from you and I. Mm. Now, now these people, people are not commonly seen on television they, you won't find them in the long range movies for example mm -hmm. but um, from first hand experience there are people who call themselves Choctaws who have been labeled so Choctaws are black got it bang let's go Choctaws Indians mm -hmm. quote unquote who uh, who will be indistinguishable from you and I speaking of the Cokes, during the days of uh, slavery yeah. um they, they would, would be instructed, instructed. They, they were instructed, instructed not, not to venture out too, too far at night, night because, because they, they made mistakes mistake they can run away slaves. slaves. Mm -hmm. Amazing. This, this is amazing. amazing. Indians are black. You know, and, 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 and the prophet Noah Rodney mentions all of these things, things in this particular, particular chapter of Egypt, uh, the, capital the capital empire, the dominion of Africa. Africa. And, he and he also said something, said something I, I, you know, know, if we have enough time, I'm sure we do, to touch on. The fact, the fact that, that he said, said that, that the pharaohs, pharaohs of Egypt gave permission to gave permission to a, a certain group of people, people particularly the Moabites, the Hittites, uh -huh. um, the Amorites, to settle and inhabit and certain, certain portions, portions of Africa, Africa. Uh, or America, right? Because it's all the same thing to them. All dominion of the Pharaoh. So the Pharaoh gave them permission to settle places. This is why they have to always be under this Pharaoh. This is why they are little homie to the Pharaoh. But we don't rep the Pharaoh. We don't rep Atlantis. And this is why we have a dragonfly perspective. This is the difference between the dragon and the serpent. The dragon and the snake. The dragon is not the serpent. The alchemical dragon is not the alchemical serpent. They know this. This is big dragon pants, India Superior boss. Uh, you, you know, know and, and the, the myth, myth is that the pharaohs of Egypt or the Egyptians were cruel and unjust. And, mm -hmm. But basically, according to the prophet of uh, we're talking about, about the same people, people aren't we? We're, we're talking, talking about the same people. people. <laughs> So this is how they justify that these people were cool is that they got hooked up with some land and they were able to settle. I'm going to back that piece up. But this, can y'all, is y'all hearing this? So they saying Pharaoh was cool. He hooked us up with land. He hooked who up with land? Moabites. So he was cool with us. Ain't this like some nigga shit? Ain't this like niggas today? Hey, man. Hey, boss. Hey. Hey, massa. Massa gave me a promotion, boss. Massa gave me overtime, boss. Massa's all good with me. But what's he doing to them? Oh, man, I don't know, man. They got to work harder. <laughs> they under dominion of Massa. This is some Massa shit if I ever seen it before. People, particularly, particularly the, the Moabites, Moabites, the Hittites, the, Hittites, uh, um, the Amorites, Amorites, to settle and inhabit certain, certain portions of Africa. Africa. Uh, you, you know, know and, and the, the myth, myth is that the pharaohs of Egypt or the Egyptians were cruel and unjust. And, 
But, but basically, basically, according, according to, to the prophet Noah, uh, we're, we're talking about the same, same people, people, aren't we? We're, we're talking, talking about, about the same people. people. And, and it, it, it's, it's important, important to go back again to that, 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 that story of the curse having been placed upon our people. people. Then, then we can kind of understand it in a uh, geopolitical, uh, religious context. context. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the myth states that, that, that the people of Canaan, Canaan were cursed and that, that their land was given to someone else. And, and so that, that would seem to set up and justify uh, the people of Canaan uh, being driven from their homelands because someone said that God had given them uh, the land of Canaan, the birthright. And so he's talking about Joshua, right, running up and reestablishing the land for Hawaii. Even though he quotes out the Bible, this part of the Bible, he don't like this part. Because he don't like the myth <laughs> that Canaanites were cursed. Well, here's the thing here. If we're talking Canaan, your Canaan, we're pretty much talking Poseidon. See, Poseidon, his, 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 his beef, his issue was that he was setting up shop where he didn't belong. Even in the Greek mythos, Zeus and his brothers were trying to convince Poseidon to move up out of there. He said, hey, it's going to be some consequences and repercussions. And now we're talking great earthquakes and destruction in Atlantis, destruction in Egypt. How many times does Egypt and these pharaohs get destroyed, man? And you still repping for this system? It leads to destruction every time because you're still bringing people into a black hole. You ain't bringing them into tribal. You're bringing up the mobile flow. But when you recruit these young brothers on the, in the streets, you ain't telling them you're uh, could be anything other than Moabite, Canaanite, yada, yada, yada. You say, hey, brother, did you know we got protection? We got a moral shield. Hey, man, we're the true inhabitants. You give them some truth. We're the, we're the Indians. That means you made a treaty on yourselves. Is that what you did? Or did you make treaties against another group of people so that they will be no more in remembrance their name is gone. They're now Ishes. They're now more Ish. You can't even prove they're Moabites, Canaanites, Jebusites, any of these ites. You, you, they're just under your confederacy and dominion, which is under the Pharaoh's dominion. It's right in our face, bone, but now we see clearly. We can kind of understand it in a uh, geopolitical, uh, religious context. Mm -hmm. Uh, the myth states that the people of Canaan were cursed and that their land was given to someone else. And so that would seem to set up and justify uh, the people of Canaan uh, being driven from their homelands because someone said that God had given them uh, the land of Canaan, the birthright. And it's not your homeland just because you settle it later. You're talking post Atlantis. You're talking everyone. You're talking everyone just popping off with giants and splicing and dice and all dog headedness. The dog head tribes can then claim to be indigenous Americans then because they were probably created here and this is their homeland too, right? They consider this their homeland, but this is not their ancient homeland. You know, they want to bring up uh, the proxy Native Americans. You know, they, they feel like that's their homeland because that's what they're told and, and that's where their history is connected. But they don't know about the mounds. They don't know about, you know what I'm saying, the Cholula flow, right? They don't understand the ancient American history. Swan Knights and Sylvanus to Texas, they don't understand that stuff. There's a... There's a cap when it comes to their native Indianness. They don't connect it with the Preston. They don't connect it with the priest cons and the grand cons and all that Genghis Khan flow popping off. They don't connect it. We know who Genghis Khan was riding for. We know, we know Genghis Khan was riding with y'all. <laughs> we see clearly. Let's go. And so as we follow the story uh, in time, uh -huh. we find that the people of Canaan were driven out 
of the Holy Land uh -huh. by Joshua. Uh -huh. <laughs> glad you said his name. I'm glad you said his name and looked down because you felt that power. He stopped the sun from moving. Stop the moon so he can finish the war against the Amalekites and all this stuff, man. I mean, you're talking about Joshua parting the waters, Joshua. Yeah, they was driven out by Joshua because he had that drop. He had that Magi flow. He didn't have the hijack European flow. They didn't say some Europeans driven out. They said Joshua drove us out. <laughs> now you got to say who's Joshua. Now you got to claim the tribe of Ephraim is real. Now you got to claim the tribe of Israel is real. So when you meet these brothers on the corner, let them know that they could be tribes of Joshua. But no, boss. They're Moabites, Hittites, and Canaanites. And your prophet do it for y'all. He don't do it for the tribes of Joshua. Because we read what Noble calls him. He calls him Joshua the robber. But look at that energy when he said Joshua. Stand it in a uh, geopolitical uh, religious context. Mm -hmm. uh, the myth states that the people of Canaan were cursed and that their land was given to someone else. And so that would seem to set up and justify uh, the people of Canaan. And this myth is the same Bible that he was just quoting to support his facts. And now it's a myth. Now the Bible said <laughs> that, you know, the son of Ham, Canaan, because of this whole nakedness situation, and you can make it however you want to make it, was revealed and all this. And Noah put that, you know, curse on the son of Ham, which was Canaan, right? So it wasn't all of Ham being cursed. It was Canaan being cursed because of, you know, some indecency that was popping off. Now, I'm sure it goes way deeper. But without that particular curse, you still got a bunch of people on the land that's not originally there. It's just because they set up shop doesn't mean it's their homeland. Just because a doghead set up shop don't mean it's a doghead homeland. Dogheads ain't got no more claim than y'all do when y'all want to spread a maxim in your dominion for Ham and Kush. Um, uh, being driven from their homelands because someone said that God had given them uh, the land of Canaan, mm -hmm. the birthright. And so as we follow the story uh, in time, but. we find that the people of Canaan were driven out of the Holy Lands by Joshua. Mm -hmm. And they received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in that portion of Egypt. Mm -hmm. In other words, the western part of Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, they formed themselves kingdoms. And these kingdoms are called to this day Tunis, Morocco, Algiers, Tripoli. Even though we have all these land, you know, all these places here in America as well, especially this Tunisia, Tennessee flow that we've been digging on. Um, you know, they're talking about, you know, Africa over there, that you know, that part of Egypt being settled and popped off and that whole Morocco situation popped off with permission. With permission, let's go. Etc. Now the people who the original people who were driven out of the land of Canaan mm -hmm. were referred to as the Moabites. Uh the Canaanites, uh, the Hittites, uh -huh. the Amorites, uh -huh. the Moabites being an ancient name for the Moors. Bang. And it's important to understand that they received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt oh. to settle in that portion of Egypt. If they received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt, that means that they recognize the legitimacy uh -huh. of the, the house pharaoh. And so then, we as Moorish Americans, uh huh, if they recognize the legitimacy of the House of Pharaoh, they recognize that as the big homie, and thus we as Moorish Americans also got to recognize Pharaoh as the big homie, which is why we make treaties with Pharaoh, uh, United States uh, Corporation. Y'all get that? He just said a whole mouthful. He said everything. So when they meet Nagas on the street, do they say, "Hey, we're all Moabites"? Do they even mention that they are in the promised land where the ancient 
Israelites, Hebrews are popping off or do they just have dominions because they're Egypt? The house of Egypt will always have dominion over Israel in their minds. Your house, the house of Dawi will always be under the dominion of the Pharaoh. Damn. To settle in that portion of Egypt. In other words, the western part of Egypt. Uh, they formed themselves kingdoms came to set up and justify uh, the people of Canaan uh, being driven from their homelands because someone said that God had given them uh, the land of Canaan, the birthright. And so as we follow the story uh, in time, we find that the people of Canaan were driven out of the Holy Land by Joshua. Mm -hmm. Joshua and they received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle in that portion of Egypt in other words the western part so they can only move with permission of whoever's claiming to be pharaoh they can only conquer and invade with permission of the big homie. And this is the big homie. <laughs> this is they big homie. This is they prophet. You know what I mean? And hey, respect to them. They have their prophet, you know, this is their teaching and that's what they sticking to. You know what I mean? But we can have our perspective and same thing with this brainwashing and, you know, uh, public school information. You know, you can ask questions and if them answers, you know, ain't uh, connecting for you, you know what I mean? You got to continue your investigation. You got to keep asking questions, man. That's all this is. That's all this investigation has been for us, man. And, you know, we got to a point where we're like, all right, I hear you saying we, we Indians. I hear you saying we indigenous. But you're not really telling us about the American empire of Kalelus, of the promised land, of the Swan Knights, of Sylvanus, of Solomon, the builder of Dawi. And who you, why are you hating on Joshua? Why aren't you acknowledging the tribes of Joshua? The tribe of Ephraim, the tribe of Israel connected with Joshua. But you can mention Joshua. But you don't mention the tribe and the history of the tribe of Joshua. You're just going to throw Joshua out there. And then say it's all about Moab. <laughs> That's the fourth tongue is. And this is why this ain't making no sense. To the cons that got sense, <laughs> not the nonsense, not the ruach tardy ma, not the sleep, not the slumber, but a con that is wakey wakey, a con that is being aware, becoming aware with 360 degree, because they rock that hat with the tassel like they graduating to get one degree. <sighs> is it one? Is it 33? Is it 99? Or is it 360? Degree panorama, <laughs> dragonfly perspective. Let's go. Of Egypt, uh, they formed themselves kingdoms, and these kingdoms are called to this day: Tunis, Morocco, Algiers, Tripoli, Tunisia, etc. Tennessee. Now, the people who, the original people who were driven out of the land of Canaan, mm -hmm. were referred to as the Moabites. The Canaanites, Confederacy. the Hittites, the Amorites, the Moabites, being an ancient name for the Moors. Pink power. And it's important to understand that they received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt right. to settle in that portion of Egypt. If they received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt, mm -hmm. that means that they recognize the legitimacy mm -hmm. of the house of Pharaoh. You're still under it. And so then, we as Moorish Americans, uh, we as Muslims here in America, uh -huh. uh, we come out of the house of Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Bang! We come right about the house of Pharaoh. That's all we need. Ping, pal, we out of here, boss. Hey, say it with me. Nagas in the back of the class. Body bag. <laughs> Body bag for the illusion. Do you tell the Nagas on the street when you talk to them that you come right out of the house of the Pharaoh? Pharaoh good. Pharaoh gives us permission.
to settle and migrate. Pharaoh, hey, Ishmaelites, you want to migrate? Go settle in Kentucky. Pharaoh say so. Oh, you want to migrate in Louisiana? Algiers, you say? Louisiana? <laughs> you want to talk about Indiana? You want to walk around your cube in Indiana? In Mecca? In Indiana? Hey, man, go ahead, man. Pharaoh say so. Permission from the Pharaohs of Egypt. Because we're under the house. We're under the house of the Pharaoh. Get him a sin. Mm -hmm. Of the house of Pharaoh. And so then, we as Moorish Americans, uh, we as Muslims here in America, uh, we come out of the house of Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. And again, if you go back to that curse story, the prophet Noble Jew Ali came to set the record straight that no, that the house of Pharaoh was not cursed. That's right. I can see the same thing there. And, um, you know, what is Atlantis was cursed. You don't see it no more. Uh, Egypt was cursed. So the house of Pharaoh didn't get <laughs> didn't get pummeled by curses after curses after curses man even the moabite stone <laughs> what's it called the the most uh man what's it? you know what i'm saying that yeah, i think the moabites even they even king meshi meshi <laughs> m-e-s-h-e is talking about these curses happening in the house of pharaoh but you're gonna you're gonna sit here with that with that twisted face and tell us <laughs> that the house of the Pharaoh didn't get cursed, then it would still be as grandeur. It would still be as, as thriving as, as you know, this, this thing will be popping off unless again, it's been rebranded under this corporation of the United States. Let's go. What is interesting is that in this particular chapter of Egypt, the capital empire of Africa, uh, the dominion of Africa, um, uh, he later on uh, talks about how, in fact, we are connected to these people, as you said, and how we, in fact, according to all true and divine records, can't be Negro, Black, Colored, or Ethiopian. That uh, no man can change man from his descendant nature unless his powers is greater than Allah himself. And no man's powers is greater than Allah himself. So that gives us a divine connection that you were talking about earlier. That's absolutely correct. Um, the terms, the marks, Negro, Black, Colored, uh, were placed on our people here in North America during the time of slavery. Now, by accepting those marks, by accepting those definitions, that cut our people off from a knowledge of their forefathers, of their divine origin. You see? So by claiming to be Negroes, by having those terms attached to them, those stigmas, if you will, um, they cannot trace the, any history of themselves back any further than slavery, because that's where the terms Negro, Black, Colored, Ethiopian, began as they apply to our people here in North America. So it's very important for our people to... Uh, it's forked tongue, man, because you can't talk slavery without talking about the treaties that led to slavery, man. <laughs> you can't sit here with a twisted face and talk slavery without acknowledging your accountability as Moabites, Canaanites, Hittites, and whateverites to make treaties with these invaders. And the fact that you yourselves are these people, right? I mean, you say you're the house of Pharaoh. You also got to understand that you're rocking with Charles Quinto, right? You're what? You're rocking with black ass King Charles V and all these uh, families that are Confederate against the Amaru Khan, against those that were hidden here. They got the gold. They got the drip. You were taking it from them. You took the gold from them, Charles Kento. The drip you rocking is Inca drip. The drip you rocking is American 
at Hawa Putri. Because, my dog, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. I brought you about the land of Egypt. They're talking about, hey, man, uh, we are still these people under the house of Pharaoh. That's what they're claiming. They're claiming Pharaoh. Hey, we're going to tell our children about their divine ancestors. They're talking Pharaoh. They ain't talking Israel. They ain't talking Joshua. They ain't talking Moses. They're talking Pharaoh. But we still saying, man, let our people go. Because our people are the treasured ones. Psalm 83. Back to that. Our people are the treasured ones. That they came and said, cut it. Let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more remembrance. Our people are the treasure ones. They have consulted together with one consent. They have made a covenant, treaties, the tents of Edom, Ishmael, Moab, Hagarites, Cabal, Ammon, Amalek. Joshua was whooping up on all y'all. David was whooping on all y'all. Preston John was whooping on all y'all. This is why you mad. Want to hide our inheritance? The real divine is that which connects to the creator. <laughs> because you only have I know. Of all the families of the earth. That's the vanity, man. That's the head. You're skipping over that. We over here, M-H-O-E. Most high over everything. The creator didn't know your tribe. You can't claim to be under some divinity if you didn't know Hawa. <sighs> Body bag for the illusion. Man, we got like 10 more minutes left. Let's get it. Uh, return those, uh, those marks, Negro, black, colored, back to the source from which they came. And to assume them their natural identity. That being, being of Moorish descent, Moorish Americans, who are the, the descendants of the ancient Moabites, who inhabited the, the northwestern and the southwestern shores of Africa, who received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt uh -oh. to settle in that portion of Egypt, uh -oh. who originally inhabited the holy land of Canaan, the land where the first physical man himself was, was formed in fact. But Canaan wasn't the original in that land. This is ancient land before Canaan. We're talking pre-Atlantis. We're, talk we're talking pre-Noah's flood. You ain't going original enough. You think Hawaii's just sending Joshua to go squander a bunch of nice black people? <laughs> nah, man, we're talking giants. We're talking evil, wicked, twisted sciences, out of order, not code keeping. At least you're going to be on the land, keep the code. You're over there sacrificing to your idols, sacrificing to your Kamoshes, Malaks, all that crap, Astartes, all the gods of Egypt, right? Because if you rock under the house of the Pharaoh, you're rocking with all those strange gods, and that's why you keep getting destroyed, Moab. That's why you are cursed, Moab. But you don't recognize that curse, just like Pharaoh didn't recognize when he was being cursed until it was too late. Man, you better wakey-wakey. Flash. It's very important to, to have that connection because by restoring that connection, then we have a, con a connection to our divine right, to our divine origin, hey. to our natural rights, to our birthrights, to our citizenship. No, Lot wasn't happy with his lot. You don't want your birthright. You want our birthright. Your citizenship under what? The house of the Pharaoh? Rights. It is extremely important. And to our land rights. You talked about the Northwest. Uh oh, yeah, the land rights definitely ain't yours. Because Moab, you can't have all of North, South, and Central America and Africa. You can't have it all for Hammond Cush. Land rights. You're getting greedy. 
Lot wants a lot. The children of Lot wants a whole lot. That's in the southwestern shores of Africa. Africa. And, it's and it's interesting, interesting too because, because in this same, same chapter, chapter he, he talks, talks about, about the, the different parts of Egypt that uh, our, our people, people were, were given permission, permission to settle and inhabit. But, but he, he also, also talks about some important things in this chapter in, in terms of the rivers, rivers that flow through there. there. He, he spoke, spoke about the river now that was dredged and made by the ancient pharaohs. Listen up. Listen up. And, and the river Niger. Now, now, I know, I know that, that he just said made by the pharaohs, so that Nile over there was man-made. Mississippi is not. From, From my studies, studies and books that, that I have uh, read and, and studied that, that geographically speaking, this Nile River, before the great earthquake, stretched across the Atlantis, continent of Atlantis, into what is now known today as the Mississippi River. Oh, okay, because Pharaoh done made a man-made river that stretched all across Atlantis, all the way into North America. It was just the greatest man-made river of all time. No, you just compared a real now with the fake now. This connection to the Mississippi is the originator. This flow is coming from here. You drudged up a fake now. Now comes from the Hebrew word Nahal. Nahal just means a great river, my naga. And Big Mama Mississippi is the greatest river. Let's go. That being a man-made river. I think that's a very important point that the prophet Nova Durali is making very clear to us in this chapter, Egypt, the capital dominion of Africa. There are indeed some, some profound and some stunning announcements made in that particular chapter because if we understand the implications then it changes everything oh yeah it changes everything oh yeah it does. um it calls into question who are the original inhabitants of america mm -hmm. and if there is if the great god of the universe recognizes any natural and divine right are any birthright, then it would seem that those birthrights would have to apply to the original inhabitants of the land. And by <laughs> if the God of the universe, we're almost out here. If the God of the universe recognizes any rights, any birthrights, surely he recognizes ours. That's what he's saying. Surely you recognize Moab. Sorry, boss. Sorry. Amos 3 verse 2, we're talking Israel. This is why you mad, this is why you hating, and this is why you hiding. Our truth. We got to figure this out on our own. You been, you had a head start. Even those that were inflicted and were, uh, you know, put to sleep at all in Moab, and been, y'all been waking up and popping up. We just now are popping off, but see, we... We got a whole nother frequency that makes us connect the dots a lot faster than you were able to. We connecting a lot faster all across the earth plane, way faster than your more science tipples can, can possibly spread because we on the frequency of connection. We on the frequency of Hawaii. Why? Because you only have I known of all the families of the earth. What do you mean recognize your birthright? Are you part of this treasured one family? And if you're not, then you need to code up and at least help build in the house of Hawa instead of acting like Hawa uh, done made some mistake by not knowing you. Maybe it was a mistake from the beginning. Maybe, you know, Lot and his daughters, you know, maybe that shouldn't have happened. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that wasn't ordained by Hawa. You ever think of that? Maybe Hawa was still rocked. Would you, if you weren't so covetous towards the promised land, towards the promised inheritance of the treasured ones who you only have I know of all the families of the earth, man. Hawaiian stuttering, <laughs> but this is why they mad, son. 
And this is why they keep saying that North America is Africa, man. <laughs> we just know we're talking Asia, man, for the dismount. Does does North America even exist? Let's go. And by being connected, by us by us being Moorish Americans, Muslim, being connected to those who were the original inhabitants of the land, yeah. then that says to us, says to our people, that we are not uh, foreigners here. Look at the yeah. forked tongue. He says, by us being connected to the original people. He didn't, <laughs> you know, he's sliding it in. Yeah, we are part of this original flow because you are a part of, you know, Shem and Abraham and, you know, Abraham's nephew, Lot, right? Abraham looked out for y'all. But that prophecy of Abraham's seed being multiplied, that's Abraham's seed. The children of Lot are not the seed of Abraham. You're the nephew of Abraham. You're not his seed. Where you will be included with all you only of all the families of the earth have I known. You didn't know the creator face to face like Joshua, like Moshe. You didn't understand the calling. You didn't understand the order. You didn't understand the frequency of the dracon. Seeing clearly, you ain't seeing clearly. You running from the fire <laughs> from these dragons. You you running from it. We ride in the dragons. That's two different frequency. Dragon riders and those that's running around scared because of the fire. But then we know you started eating our dragons, right? We got that impressed to John and the gypsies. These inhabitants in Western Europe used to eat the dragons to reverse uh, their age against accidents of old age, it says. To make their intellect subtle beyond all measure. In other words, they get to be smart as a mug, right? And younger and younger because they're eating the dracon. You eat the dragon, right? We are the dragon. It's a different thing. You eating us. You're eating our frequency. You're copping our style. This ain't just about us versus this and this, but this is an old biblical war. This is a frequency war. This ain't nothing new, but they have to recognize it when they bring up the Bible and they bring up Joshua. They have to recognize us as real because they're bringing up real things. Joshua, they're bringing up ancient America. They're bringing up this inheritance connected with Abraham. They're bringing up this Hebrew flow. That means these tribes exist. The treasure ones exist, but you want us to believe that we are no more. For us to be no more, that means we're not great. So how can we ever remember who we are if you keep bringing us back into a black hole of quasi-greatness, of more ishness after we've been cut off? from being a nation. That's why you're not mentioning our nation. That's why you slide right past it. Oh, yeah, 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 Joshua. Yeah. <laughs> Joshua, you know. Who's Joshua? He's a part of a nation. But you want to cut us off from being a nation. This ain't personal. It's all respect. I'm just giving a dragonfly perspective to their Moorish perspective. Let's go. In America, we are not recent immigrants, as so many people who happen to live in America at this time are. Well, they come from. And really, this is personal, man, because I'm talking about the inheritance of our tribes, of our family that's been disenfranchised, that's been genocided and murdered and vanquished and subdued because of these papal bulls by tribes that are confederate against us, man. This is as personal as it really gets, man. Because we're speaking from the hard bone after being put to sleep. From many different places. They've come from Europe. Uh, they've come from different parts of Asia and different parts of the world. But we uh, we can trace ourselves back directly to the, to the original inhabitants of the land. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, another important point that the, that the Prophet Nubu Zul Ali brings out and makes clear in that particular chapter, and that is the people of America. Who were these other people? He mentions specifically the Moabites, uh, the Hittites, <laughs> the Amorites. Well, these are the people who were referred to as Indians. Mm-hmm. And really? Just the Moabites, Hittites, and Canaanites? The Israelites were not? You see how they don't want to include you? Because they don't want you to be a nation, man. They, they want to cut you off from being a nation. So now the Indians is all about them. The Choctaws are all about them. How about the Shikabagua? You want to talk Shikabagua? You want to talk Dragon Canoe? You want to talk to Kumse? Were they Moabites too? Tecumse tried to unite the tribes. Not all the tribes wanted to fight with Tecumse against the hijack. They all, you know, some of them just wanted to side with the invader. Now we see clearly. And it's it would seem to us, it, it would follow logically, therefore, that we have a long and extremely long history long connection with the people of America. Atlantis. The people who are referred to as uh, Mexicans and the natives of, of San Salvador and the Atlantis Islands. That if we migrated from the Holy Land back in those ancient days, days and that, and that together, together we uh, uh, sought permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle and then had it. it. Uh, uh, this, this portion, portion of, Egypt, of Egypt, then it was seen that there, that there is, is a natural alliance between mm-hmm. our people here, here the Moors, the Moors Americans, and, and the, the other, other original, original peoples of America, America being, being the Mexicans and, 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 and the No, there's not an alliance if you're making treaties on it. Why can't y'all get this shit? How can we be an alliance? You know, the natural alliance is this confederacy that y'all making. It's real natural for y'all to gang up together against the treasure ones. That seems to be the only natural alliance you got is your confederacy. The Mexicans, the Mexicans are tribes of Moses, the Meshi, the Moshe. You want to completely discount Moshe, but talk Joshua, but then talk Mexicans. That's named after Mexica, Meshi, Moshe, Meshe, Moshe, Moses, man. These are tribes of Moshe. It's the tribes of Israel. These Mexican, Mexican tribes aren't Moab. This is your problem. Anything black, you want to put your stamp on it without mentioning Israel, without mentioning the tribes of Jacob. Jacob don't exist. How qua, your qua don't exist. You, you worse than the hijack. You worse than these doctrines like Christianity saying that Israel, you know, don't matter. Uh, it's just spiritual Israel now. You know, uh, you, know, you, you you've been mixed out. There ain't no remnant. No, nah, there ain't no remnant. Nah, you're just amalgamated with us. We're the Indians. We're the Mexicans. We're everything. The Moorish are everything. Moabites are everything. Everything, boss. I think you seeing through the lens of Hijack City, through the lens of the Pharaoh. And the, the Nicaraguans and the natives of San Salvador oh, and the inhabitants of the Atlanta Islands. <laughs> and so we, we're we going to attempt to uh, reconnect those ancient and divine ties to our brothers and sisters here in America. And I can see that being done in science as it was, un, as it was done in science. Mm-hmm. I can see that being undone. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my mind tells me, according to our prophet Nova Durali, that Mexicans come from Mexico. <laughs> Indians come from India. Uh-huh. So, based on what you just said, uh, we can't let that confuse us as being the same people who were given permission by the pharaohs of Egypt to settle and inhabit this portion of Egypt. Let's not confuse that. The real Mexicans can't be the real Indians. <laughs> That's crazy, boss, because in India Superior, when you have a simple map from 1548, 
showing you that North America don't even exist. It's called India Superior. And this is Mexico. So you're saying the people of Mexico are not the same people of La Florida, are not the same people of <laughs> India Superior, China, Cathay? Because you want us to think India is over there. Let's, let us not confuse that these could be, that these are the same people. They can't be the same people. But they, they inhabit the same land, man. And all this North American land was also named after Moses called Mexico, Mexica, the Mexicas, tribes of Moses. We in the promised land, Jack. You can't, you know, tap dance your way. I mean, you, you can put on the tap dance shoes, but you can only dance for so long, man. You can't moonwalk your way up out of this, Mike Jack. <laughs> Jack Hammer, you can't put on your mighty hat and moonwalk your way out, out the back. This is India Superior, boss, which connects to Mexico. What are you saying? What are you saying, man? Let's hear this again. Our prophet knows Durali that Mexicans come from Mexico. Uh -huh. Indians come from India. India Superior, boss. So, based on what you just said, uh, we can't let that confuse us as being the same people who were... India. India Superior, boss. It's the same land. It's the same dang land. What do you mean don't let it confuse us being the same people? See, this is that fourth time. See, ain't nothing like... And this ain't nothing to do with these particular, you know, people talking. I'm just popping off, you know. Let me just make a general statement. This is something I'm going to say in general to everybody on the earth plane. There ain't nothing like a smart dumbass. I'm just talking about anybody. Ain't, ain't nothing like a dumbass that has some knowledge and a, some training up, and some sciences and some, but they just dumb, you know. And if they ain't dumb, they just are purposely hiding something. So they're just truly the hijack. They're just truly wicked. Either they're dumb or they're wicked. Not these people talking, but I'm saying it ain't nothing like a smart dumbass. You're smart as hell, but you're also dumb as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And it takes moments like this to realize how dumb your shit is, is, is looking. But Hawa did say, I'm going to make they mighty men look like fools. I'm going to make their wise men look like fools. We're going to see how dumb this shit is. And we thought we were without knowledge. That we perishing for lack of knowledge. But they over here saying, I don't understand the connection with Mexico and India. Let, let's not confuse that with being the same people. They on the same land, boss. You going to separate Florida with India too? You going to separate Florida with Mexico? How could they be the same? I don't know, boss. They seem to be on the same landmass. For ancient, ancient, ancient times. We still talking about Africa, right? <laughs> Northwest Africa, a maxim is North America. Southwest Africa, a maxim is South America. Or we're just talking ham and kush, ham and kush, ham and kush, ham and kush for Morocco. Man, y'all better quit this shit, man. This is ridiculous, man. India Superior is right in our face, ball. Or are we just talking Asia, boss? Florida, Mexico. What would Asia have to do with Mexico? I don't understand how Asia will be connected with Mexico. It's the same land. It's the same land. It's the same doggone land for the dismount. A few more minutes. We're given permission by the pharaohs of Egypt to so what you just said. Uh, we can't let that confuse us as being the same people who were given permission by the pharaohs of Egypt to settle and inhabit this portion of Egypt. We're the same people. Right. The only thing, according to our prophet Novodrali, that separates us is a body of water from each other. But we're the same people. 
interesting though uh as we go on in this chapter you're not the same people if you only have i known of all the families there's a specific tribe specific tribes of people that are within the creator's code from the get-go right out the gate there's a difference between where ishmael went with it and where isaac went with it there's a difference between where esau went with it and where jacob went with it two different frequencies in the same belly two different frequencies we're not all the same people we don't have the same frequency we just have similar phenotypes but the whole world has our phenotypes there's never been a time of black unity black pride that that's a myth show me the time of black unity where all black people were united no it was tribal war since Cain and Abel. it was tribal war since, since the very beginning black on black crime black on black war more and more war and it got even worse with these damn treaties you making them treaties with the hijack just so that you can get your so-called land birthright that you think is yours you know who else is thinking that esau right yeah so you make a treaty with esau right tend to eat him you make a treaty with ishmael moab and on and on you go. Philistia, Tyre, Amalek, Ammon, Gabal, Hagarites, Hittite, everybody. Everybody. Even Assyria joined y'all. They have been an arm to the children of Lot. Man, who's behind this? Children of Lot. <laughs> and they're under the dominion of the Pharaoh of Egypt. I can't I can't say no clear right in your face bone. They're saying this. He talks about um, this man made river, the Nile River. Uh -huh. He talks about the fact that this was used for trade and transportation. Well, when we check the history books, we can see that the Nile River was indeed used for trade and transportation. And so was the Mississippi River. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was used for trade and transportation. But only one of these are man-made, right? And you can even see it a little bit in this uh, <laughs> flow right here. You, you see the Mississippi flow? And this is their fake now, right? <laughs> and they're saying, oh, this was all connected. One river running through it. Stop it, man. You got real, you got fake. You got the fake, we got the real. You trying to get the real. And that's a real problem. That's a real issue. And it's, it's very important, again, for us to know and understand that we're talking about, uh, that we're talking we're talking about, about the same, same river, river we're, we're talking, talking about, about definitely, definitely the same, same people. people. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No question about that. that. We're not uh -huh. the same river, man. You're talking about a fake river. <laughs> That's not the same as the Mississippi. Oh, it all connects. Nah, you, you try to now send, send Cretanize, connect yourself to something real. You got to connect the now to the Mississippi. You got to connect Ham and Kush to the house of Shem, to the house of Dawi, to the house of the Preston. Yeah. You got to connect it to the house of Preston, John. Oh, what do they got to do with the Mexica, tribes of Moses, Mexico, right here? <laughs> I don't understand how the India, Mexico is connected because it's on the same land and it's connected with Antioch, all the same flow. Go get the Preston John investigation. We out of here, boss. Um, we, we can't emphasize enough that um the connection to our divine origin. It is extremely important that our people understand that our origin is divine. Yes. When that, you say divine, excuse me. Yeah. When you say divine, uh -huh. you're saying that uh, we have a connection to this one God? <laughs> to the one God. To the one God who is the father of the universe. Uh, who 
you're connected. We're Shem. Connected doesn't mean ordained. Connection doesn't mean that you were chosen. Connection doesn't mean chosen. The connecting connection doesn't mean treasured ones. You're just saying that you have a biblical connection. That's all you're saying is that you're connected with the biblical families. And that since we kind of look alike, you know, we're all one black Moorish thing. And tribes of Israel is just amalgamated. The house of Israel, the, the remnant is just washed up into the blackness and the do dominion of a Maxim, right? <laughs> of Atlantis. Moving with permission of the Pharaoh. Got it. Stop the capillary. Because never in the history of Cappadocia has it shit ever made any sense. Your connection doesn't mean chosen. Your covetous is against the treasured ones. Uh, who's known in, in different lands by different names. Mm -hmm. Our forefathers refer to him as Allah. Mm -hmm. Or Allah, as some say. Uh, some refer to him as God. But... Uh, our origin comes directly from him, from the great God of the universe, and that there was there was no curse. <laughs> this mistake is no causing curse, on but the uh, uh, hijacks you on your land, right? Tell him, hijack. He's like, man, what you mean, no curse, man? How did I get here? Because at this point, <laughs> it's the dinosaur. Oh, I forgot you trouble. made me. What if I told you this? That you made me more. You created us, man. Let's get it. On the descendants of Cain. There is no curse on the house of Pharaoh. Really? There was no curse on the house of Moab. And no, we were not born in sin. It's extremely important that our people understand that. And understanding that, then... And notice they ain't going to give us the true story there, right? If you weren't born in this incest situation with Lot and his daughters, daughters, right, in their orgy incest situation, if you weren't born in that, then what's the story? Because you quote the Bible, well, what does it say? Like, what's your origin? Set the record straight. It wasn't incest. It was just, it was all good. And, and you know, you was the chosen. You was the treasure one. And you knew Hawaii face to face. Then why are you trying to restore or, you know, take these lands today under this shield of ishness? Why not take it under the tribe that Hawaii, you know, has been rocking with the whole time? Show us how Hawaii's been rocking with you. Show us how this birthright has just been so promised to y'all. Show us how the creator is saying America is yours. Show us how the ancient land of Canaan was originally inhabited by Canaan or Poseidon. Show us how you know, these lands of the Pacific don't matter. How India superior doesn't matter. Show us how the tribes of Joshua and Moses don't matter in your equation. See, if you were these people, you wouldn't have to dance around and, and <laughs> embellish yourself over Hawaii's people. Everyone needs to believe that they are chosen, I suppose for any doctrine to take place. <laughs> but to us, it's simple deduction. The last ones to wake up seem to be the ones that were victimized. You know what I'm saying? You got your history, right? Your prophet came in the 1800s, gave you all your history, right? <laughs> we over here in the hood just now waking up, pulling ourselves out of this black hole. That's so easy to fall into when you're asleep and you take advantage of our youth when they're asleep. You don't give them the whole story. You don't even replace the story with something you call real. That's, 
you know, backed up with ancient published, you know, uh, writings like you're not even telling us <laughs> the true origin of the children of Lot. You're just going to branch it over and say, we're not cursed. We're not cursed. We can go over and over again where Hawaii is directing fury towards Moab, fury towards Edom for not having their brothers back and not being their brother's keeper. And all this idolatry, all these, all this turncoat, you know, non-brotherly behavior, all this murder. How did the invader get here, man? How did the invader prosper without all the murder of the Indians that you claim to be? You wouldn't have let these people in if this was your land. This is my this is my final point. I'm gonna let it ride out. You wouldn't have let these people in and given them anything if this was truly your land. You let these people in to help you conquer the promised land, conquer King David, conquer Prester John. You let these people in to conquer Israel. Because if you were the house of Israel, if you were the treasure ones, you wouldn't have made no deals. You would have been like the Shikamagwa and stood firm and stood on your business. And perhaps Joshua should have stood all the way on his business when he was told to make sure he didn't have no thorns in his side, in his side bone. <laughs> he was told to eradicate these houses that would soon be a thorn in his side if he didn't get him off this land. Black people, right? These weren't white people trying to kick you out. <laughs> These were people that were original here before Atlantis, original divine, not post Atlantis, post Egypt. We're talking about original divine, original Hawa. We're talking about the frequency, the image, because we're created in the image is a frequency. With frequency comes order. If this was your land, you wouldn't be making treaties for it. If this was your land, you wouldn't be making no treaties for. You will ride and you would die for your land. You ain't talking. You did all this talking. You ain't talking about one treaty you done made with the invader. It looks like you hiding something to me, man. We out of here, folks. They begin to understand that perhaps they can receive a prophet. A one um, who is directly inspired by the great God of the universe mm. to offer people divine guidance. If we look at the history of the prophecy, for example, uh, the people of, of Arabia, the people of Palestine, the people of India, the people of China, and other places, that uh, if we look at the, the origin, the history, we find that the prophet, their divine one, has always come in their image, has always come to them in their image. So our prophet could only come in our image. I'm glad you said that. Body bag for the illusion. And the house of Israel, the tribe of Hasharah, the tribe of Moshe, the tribe of Dawi, the tribes of Joshua can only have a prophet in their image. Noble Jew Ali is not in the image of the house of Israel. It's not in the frequency of the house of Israel. This is your prophet they gave you, your enlightenment, right? But it's the enlightenment to put more of us to sleep. It's it's some wake up Jews with a lot of uh, NyQuil, you know what I'm saying? Because Anaga <laughs> still is not gonna recognize one simple fact that you made treaties against yourself. And you don't call that a curse. If you weren't cursed for no other reasons, perhaps it's, it's, it's these treaty making niggas. Whose treaty says we can't even help the enemies of our invader. The enemy of our invader is our enemy too. These people can't help us today if they wanted to based on their treaties. A peace and friendship, they can't help us today if they wanted to. Because they can't help the enemy of the invader, the Pharaoh. Uh, for example, 
the people whom Buddha was sent to redeem looked just like them. So, and, and the people from uh, Confucius looked just like Confucius. Uh, the people of Palestine looked just like Jesus. The people of Arabia uh, were just like Muhammad. He going crazy now. And uh, that is a divine right to have a prophet come to you in your own likeness and in your own. So because Noble Jolie is black, we are blessed to have a black prophet for black people. This is some bullshit. Own image. And, and so, so it was that, that the, the prophet, prophet Noble Jolie, our, our divine uh, guidance, came to us, us looking, looking just, just like so did Jesse Jackson. So did Obama. You and I. And that is a cause for great joy. It's a cause for great celebration among our people here in North America. Hi, Jackson. And you know, at the beginning of this uh, program, we saw a picture of the prophet of Jerome. And at the ending of this program, we're going to see another picture of the prophet of Jerome to see. The same, the same things, things that you're saying, saying right here now, <laughs> that he indeed <laughs> looks like you and I. He's a black man. And <laughs> I'm in full agreement. That's crazy. You know who else looks like you and I, man? You know who else looks like us? Managa? Yeah, black ass King Charles looks like you and I. That's why, you know, they didn't get exterminated when it came to the land. You know, you watch Avatar, they had to come looking like the avatars so that they blend in with the indigenous. Just like Esteban. Just like Black Stephen Esteban Nico. He came over here hijacking all the indigenous cons in New Mexico, Hawaku, Cibola, Shimbala, looking just like us, looking just like them, right? Oh, but noble come looking like us. We are so blessed to have a black, a black noble. We've been having so-called black nobles. We've been having copper color cons. <laughs> if Prest is, is so-called black, King David is so-called black, are you going to accept him because he's black? No, you're not going to accept him because he's Israel. So you won't accept this black man because he ain't Moab, but you want us to accept this black man who ain't Israel, who ain't Jacob. We should accept your Moabite prophet to be over Judah, right? But you ain't going to accept King David, the king of Judah, Rex Negus. Yeah, something is off about this, huh? about this logic here. Hey, we're going to show a picture of our black prophet, black people. You should all unite under the black prophet because he's in our image. <laughs> Just like Charles Kento. Just like Kento. Should we accept this image too? Coming with this image, his Jesus cross to hijack the indigenous Atahuapa Inca man. The Janga man. <laughs> Should we accept any image because it looks like us? I heard all kin folk ain't kind folk. <laughs> Skin folk ain't kin folk, and kin folk ain't kind folk. Kind. Agreement with you, of course, that uh, would we start building up our self esteem as a people and recognizing that we have a divine right, a divine origin, we will indeed accept the fact that we have a prophet. <laughs> who is divinely prepared by the prophet Nova Jirali. That is absolutely true. You know, <laughs> this chapter... A divine origin means you only have I known. A divine origin means you are treasured. And you can look just like us and still come and cut us off from being a nation. You could look just like us and still try to make the name of Israel no more in remembrance, try to wipe out our memory. You could look just like us and consult together with one consent and make a covenant or a treaty, Edom. 
Moab, Ishmael, you could look just, you could look just like us. You could look just like us and come over here to hijack us. And that's the indigenous truth about India Superior. That's the indigenous truth, man. <sighs> about China, about Cathay. Here be floored. Yeah, this is what you want. You want this gold. You want the cities of gold. Just keep it real. You want the land rights? No, you want the gold. You want the promised land. You want the land of Prester John. You know, I mean, it, it's getting real clear to the cons. <laughs> we in Cathay, we in China, boss. We in India Superior. We are in Asia, boss. And you on that play play. After Egypt, the capital dominion of the Empire of Africa, is indeed a great chapter. And I've enjoyed discussing it with you intensely. Oh, we just got started. Yes. <laughs> oh, we just are getting started, Hijack City. We just getting started. The water to the con. Ghost Johnson, man, for, you know, just giving us this reminder, man, that everything ain't got to look like this no more, man. It ain't got to be about having Kush no more, man. <laughs> the tribe of Israel can be on Kum Kum. We can rise again. We can see clearly <laughs> that we are all ready on. And India superior. We ain't got to jump across the waters to connect to this great landmass of Africa when we are already connected to Asia. But is that man bringing this up? Is he bringing up Ania? <laughs> we are already connected to Ania. Do we need any more? Uh, nah, we, we don't need no more. The more and more wars quiet enough. We got Anion right in our face, ball. Anion, Hanan, or Canaan, right? The land of Canaan is Anion. But we're not talking Ham. We're talking Anion, Hanan, Anan, Ben David, seed of David, house of David, Hanan, son of Lady Hannah, Rusadan. Regna means kingdom. Covera is Kiver or Kiber or Eber. House of Eber. Eber, Eberu, Heberu. Ka. You got the Hebrew kingdom, the Eber kingdom, the Anion, Anon ben David kingdom, and it's already here on the maps. We talking America, boss. It don't got to look like this no more, man. Ham and Kush, Ham and Kush. You ain't got to keep saying we in Africa. We can adjust our perspective and come right back home to India Superior, man. The water for surfing the wave, what a nugget. <laughs> we, we can move freely, man, without the permission of no pharaoh. We can move freely without being in the dominion of Hijack City for perpetual slavery, servitude forever under their papal bulls, and we can see through their bulldog that we are already home and that we don't have to be a part of the confederacy, that we can claim our tribe that has always been known by Hawa, always been known by Hawa, the treasured ones that have always been known. Thy people, thy treasured ones. Yeah. Because you only have I know. So I'm going to go see you, man, for these, you know, out of coldness. I'm going to see you for your iniquities. Oh, house of Israel. The whole family. Because you, <laughs> I mean, right in your face, man. 
You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Hey, up to the con cons. Stay up. Suda. Choose up. Drop nation.